Bellwether reveals new generation flying car model. Bellwether challenged the stereotype of an aircraft with fixed wings or external propellers and refused the prejudice that electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft are just smaller airplanes. Bellwether announced the release of the third generation aircraft model design, Oryx. The new airframe design highlights the difference from the previous models and makes the advance in technology. Oryx is initially sized to carry one pilot and two passengers for a particular purpose and will be available for up to four passengers in the future generation. The aircraft retains the key feature of the hidden propulsion system and is estimated to be 6.2 meters in length and 3.8 meters in width, slightly bigger than in sport utility vehicles car. It will be capable of completing a journey from Heathrow Airport to Canary Wharf within 8 minutes at a cruise speed of 140 km per hour, which takes 50 to 100 minutes by car. Airspace Cabin Vision 2035 Plus Today, aviation represents 2.5% of man-made emissions. Huge progress has been made since the 1980s to reduce the industry's carbon footprint. But the journey is only starting. Airbus is on a mission to connect today and tomorrow. Our goal is that future generations continue to benefit from aviation as much as the current generations have. The cabin contributes 10 to 20 percent of the overall aircraft environmental impact. In parallel, Passenger research shows that 80% of companies incorporate sustainable travel policies and that 40% of travelers are willing to pay for CO2 neutral tickets. Three pillars to achieve our ambition. Focus on three main drivers supported by a clear roadmap that has been co-built with key industry players. MG May's concept car revealed creates a smile for urban mobility. Bold and brave concept. The MG Maze is designed to bring a new mobility experience to the next generation in recognition of three key principles. Play is important, discovery is important, and adventure is important. The compact futuristic concept car conveys a real gaming experience through its open cockpit layout which offers a full panoramic view of the environment. The full polycarbonate shell canopy opens vertically, allowing occupants to jump in through the front into the far-reaching seats. Users ride along using their phones as the access and control points for the car. A sophisticated user interface overlays images and digital content with the occupant's perspective. Norte Electric Concept Glider The Norte is a two-seated sailplane based on a sharing system which supports the behavior of independent pilots and gliding clubs at the same time. This system allows an easy access to gliders and dismantles barriers between pilots and clubs. This concept has to provide certain features to fit the needs and requirements of a sharing system. Norte is a self-starting glider with an electric engine as propulsion system and tail trigger undercarriage. Thanks to this features it is possible to take this plane into operation without any further help. Considering the latest accidents reports and safety features on the market, Norte provides a holistic safety package to keep damage low. The safety concept consists of active and passive safety features gives the pilot the best protection. Furthermore, the whole gliding experience has been reinvented considering safety aspects and needs of a pilot. BMW Spirit Future Motorcycle Concept The BMW Motorrad concept envisions intelligent bike of the future the Motorrad has become more than just a successful BMW subsidiary. It has now reached a stage where it is an inspiration. What you're about to read is a project inspired by the famed German motorcycle brand. Now, the idea behind the project is quite simple. Obviously, it's a motorcycle that aims to create a symbiosis between human and machine. 
but to do so in reality has proven to be rather difficult. So, for now, all we have is this digital representation of where future technology could be headed. How about we dream a little? We can clearly see a motorcycle shape as far as visual geometry goes, but that's about where all resemblance ends. Except maybe the way it handles, possibly. The first thing we notice when we lay our eyes upon this skeletal frame is just that, the skeleton. Space Perspective wants to take tourists on balloon rides to the stratosphere. Test flights of the new spaceship Neptune could begin early next year. The spaceship Neptune capsule can accommodate a pilot and eight passengers who will ride in style. The craft will feature seats, a bar, a bathroom, and huge windows that will allow for great views of Earth against the blackness of space, company representatives said. Spaceship Neptune will spend about two hours getting up to a maximum altitude of about 100,000 feet, 30,000 meters, pulled gently upward by a 650-foot-tall, 200M, balloon filled with buoyant hydrogen. Fire Truck of the Future For many years, fire trucks have been predominantly some shade of red in color with flashing lights, bells, whistles, and sirens. At face value, it's arguable that fire trucks haven't changed. However, as most member companies of Fire Apparatus Manufacturers Association, FAMA, can attest, these vehicles have indeed advanced technologically because of innovations, changes in standards such as National Fire Protection Association, NFPA, 1901, Standard for Automotive Fire Apparatus, or Government Regulations. But has anyone thought about what a fire truck might look like or be able to do in the future? There is much discussion in the regulatory world with the advancement of autonomous vehicles. Is it practical to think a fire truck may be operated without human intervention? Time will tell. If you consider how a pressure governor works during pumping operations, the idea of autonomous operations may not be too far-fetched. Smart Carrier Special Autonomous Vehicle for Airports A smart carrier, also known as an autonomous ground vehicle or autonomous mobile robot designed for use in airports, is an innovative solution that leverages autonomous technology to streamline operations and improve efficiency in the airport environment. These vehicles are typically equipped with various sensors, cameras, LiDAR, GPS, and advanced software algorithms that enable them to navigate and perform tasks without human intervention. These vehicles are equipped with a range of sensors to perceive their surroundings. This includes cameras for visual recognition, LiDAR for 3D mapping, ultrasonic sensors for object detection, and more. Advanced collision avoidance systems and real-time monitoring ensure the safety of passengers, employees, and other equipment in the vicinity. Virgin Hyperloop explains how its 670 miles per hour per 1070 kilometers per hour pods work. Virgin Hyperloop has released a video explaining how its pods will connect cities at 670 miles per hour. The company, which has already performed passenger tests, uses electric propulsion and electromagnetic levitation under near vacuum conditions, realizing a fundamentally new form of transportation that is faster, safer, cheaper, and more sustainable than existing modes. Part of Richard Branson's Virgin Empire, Virgin Hyperloop is committed to create a new way of transportation capable of equaling the speed of air travel and to expand travel opportunities for the masses. While ticket prices will vary depending on the exact route, a recent study has found that Hyperloop fares would be more akin to the cost of driving rather than flying. Avant Solo Electric Sport Car Advanced Electric Single Seater 
conceived as a collaborative endeavor between Avant Design and High Performance Learning, Solo aims to demonstrate the advanced design and visualization capabilities we offer. Solo is chiefly visual study that explores the creative aspect of connective driving and how it may be used to influence the emotional bond between man and machine. As with the project's aim to unify driver and technology, Solo's design was developed with the same principle of unity. The amalgamation of classic proportions with contemporary surface language was key and is most evident by the proud reach of the vehicle's body, forward of the cab, which forms a dramatic, classic silhouette, akin to race cars of the 30s and 40s. Renault Claire Future Garbage Truck Concept The concept of robotic light commercial vehicles Renault Claire is designed for separate garbage collection in suburbs and countryside areas. The vehicle is fully autonomous and works with operator's car. Claire light commercial vehicle shape was inspired by morphology of Renault retro trucks and vans in combination with modern trends of the brand's DNA. Claire Light Commercial Vehicles in Garbage Collection Mode has a special modular container with doors on its front and back which has two floors and takes 40 robotic garbage boxes. All garbage boxes are fixed to the floors by guide rails to prevent their falling in time of transportation. To keep the inside space clean the garbage container has bactericidal lights attached to the walls. Container is made of light composite materials and has dirt repellent coating. Audi DNA The Concept Bike Hongik University, Aking University, and Audi have come up with an intelligent DNA concept that essentially is inspired by the luggage. The drawing sketches clearly show the idea comes from luggage to reduce the luggage while you travel. Now this luggage can be converted into a transportation mode that has three wheels, two at the front and one in the rear. While the idea of tri-wheeler is something not new we do already have concepts from Kawasaki like Concept J, Yamaha already has Nikon and Tricity 300 we would say Yamaha is the forerunners in this race. Their concepts are already on the road. Lazzarini reveals 150M airship style superyacht concept powered by helium gas. Italian design studio Lazzarini has unveiled a flying superyacht concept powered by helium, named Air Yacht. Constructed in carbon fiber, the concept is made up of two 150-meter airships that are connected via four bridges to a central 80-meter hull. The two floating balloons are divided into hives that store helium gas. When in flight, the compressed helium is released and can provide enough propulsion for journeys of up to 48 hours at 60 knots. When cruising on the water, the air yacht sails quietly at 5 knots. European Space and Telecom's players sign partnership agreement to bid for Iris 2 Constellation. A group of European space and telecommunications players have come together to form a partnership to respond to the European Commission's call for tender related to the future European satellite constellation IRIS Superscript 2, Infrastructure for Resilience, Interconnectivity and Security by Satellite. IRIS Superscript 2 aims to bring a new secure and resilient connectivity infrastructure to European governments, businesses and citizens. The open consortium will be governed by Airbus Defense and Space, UTELSAT, HISPASAT, Socioeconomic Status, and Thales Alenia Space. The consortium will also rely on the core team of the following companies, Deutsche Telekom, OHB, Orange, HISDASAT, Telespazio, and Thales. Together, they will aim to create a state-of-the-art satellite constellation based on a multi-orbit architecture that would be interoperable with the terrestrial ecosystem. <laughs>